We're here this evening to announce that today we concluded our administrative investigation into complaints of officer misconduct involving the young woman known as Celeste Guap. And we issued notices of discipline to 12 Oakland police officers this afternoon. I am deeply sorry for the harm that this scandal has caused, particularly to community trust, which for many was already so tenuous. And today reaffirms our commitment to continually rebuilding that trust. The discipline that we have announced today sends a loud and clear message that we will hold our officers to nothing but the highest standards of professionalism and integrity. The people of Oakland and the decent men and women of the Oakland Police Department deserve no less. Here to explain the discipline decisions issued today is City Administrator Sabrina Landreth. As the mayor mentioned, today the city of Oakland issued notices of intent to discipline 12 officers relating to sustained offenses in the sexual misconduct case involving Celeste Guap. The recommended discipline is as follows. The city issued notices today that it intends to terminate four members of the Oakland Police Department. To the extent some of these individuals may have already left the department, these findings will nonetheless be placed in their permanent personnel files. Each individual was found to have committed one or more of the following offenses. Attempted sexual assault, engaging in lewd conduct in public, assisting in the crime of prostitution, assisting in the evading arrest for the crime of prostitution, accessing law enforcement databases for personal gain, being untruthful to investigators, failing to report a violation of law or rules by not reporting allegations of a minor having or had sexual contact with Oakland police officers and bringing disrepute to the Oakland Police Department. In addition, the city of Oakland issued notices of intent to suspend seven members of the Oakland police officers without pay and provide remedial training for committing one or more of the following offenses. Failing to report a violation of law or rules by not reporting allegations of a minor having or had sexual contact with Oakland police officers, accessing law enforcement databases for personal gain, bringing disrepute to the Oakland Police Department. And lastly, in addition, the Oakland, uh, City of Oakland issued a notice of intent to order counseling and training to one member of the Oakland Police Department for the following offense, bringing disrepute to the Oakland Police Department. Of note, all of these discipline decisions will now be subject to due process and grievance procedures. Uh, thank you, Sabrina. Next, uh, Deputy Chief Lois will explain the scope and rigor involved in this internal affairs administrative investigation. Uh, I will remind you that state law prohibits us from sharing personnel information about police officers and that this is a description of the administrative investigation. Good afternoon. I'm Deputy Chief, Chief John Lois, L-O-I-S. Before I get started, please understand that I'm very limited with the amount of information that I can provide pending the completion of the discipline process. I want you to know this was an extremely exhaustive and complex investigation that began on September 25th, 2015. Just to give you a sense of how expansive this investigation was, we dedicated a team of investigators that included the city attorney's office. We, the investigative team examined approximately 80,000 pages of social media documents and 28,000 text messages. The investigative team conducted 11 different interviews of Ms. Celeste Guap that spanned more than 20 hours. There were 50 witness interviews also conducted during the course of the investigation. In situations where we identified officers from other law enforcement agencies, we made the appropriate notifications. 
Lastly, all the involved officer supervisors were evaluated for evidence or patterns that implied knowledge and or failure to take action. Thank you.